Next thing we need to do is to see how our app will look on a physical iOS device. So I have my iPhone connected to my computer. So this is iPhone 11 Pro. Now the next thing we need to do will be to pop up our Android Studio. So what happens here is automatically Flutter will go ahead and select a provisioning profile for you. So as you can see, we had some errors. Yeah, after trying to build our app, some errors surfaced and it's saying that no profile for com.ufinix.com right that we have found. So what this means is that we haven't set up a provisioning profile for this particular project. So it means that we need to first of all visit Xcode to properly set up a provisioning profile. Then we can be able to test our app on a physical iOS device. So what we are going to do will be to go to our iOS folder under the project pane. So we're going to drop this down and we're going to go to the runner folder. So I'm going to right click on runner and I'm going to click on review in finder. So when we click on review in finder, it will go ahead and open this folder in our finder window. So if you're actually using a Windows machine, what you're supposed to see is show in Explorer. So you need to go ahead and click that as well. So now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and run our runner.scode project. So this will go ahead and open Xcode version of this particular project for us. All right. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and click on Runner. So we're going to go to Signing and Capabilities. And we need to go ahead and select a team. So this is my personal team. You need to ensure that you're properly connected to the internet as well while you're doing all of this. All right. So I've selected a team and now a signing certificate has been generated for me. So this is basically all that we needed to do. So to confirm that everything works, we actually don't need to return to Android Studio again for now. We can just simply go ahead and test our app right here from Xcode. So as you can see, our device is already showing up. All we need to do is to go ahead and click the play button. Okay, so the build is already taking place. So this is going to take a couple of seconds or maybe minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. All right, so our build is successful. Okay, so this looks good. So why there is so much space here is because I'm testing on an iPhone 11 Pro. So there's supposed to be a nodge here. So that's why there's a lot of space over here. But this is exactly what we're expecting. Now we've successfully seen how to test our app on a physical device. So if I decide to go ahead and stop testing from Xcode and I can return back to Android Studio. So now that we've successfully set up a provisioning profile, I can also go ahead and click the play button from within Android Studio. It can now successfully test our app without running into any other issues. And bravo, we've achieved the same result. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.